For more such videos, refer to the lookup formula series wherein we are teaching you the four essential lookup formulae that is lookup, vlookup, hlookup and xlookup. Along with the same, there are advanced combinations of the above formulas which help you tackle typical and extreme industry problems. The link for the same is there in the description. In this course, we provide you with recorded video lectures, exclusive live sessions with advanced case studies, 24-7 live assistance for queries, and technical assistance. Now, the technical assistance is specifically needed because we at YMC Hub have developed a special utility. Originally, the XLOOKUP is available only for Office 365 as launched by Microsoft. But we at YMC Hub have developed a specific utility using which you can use XLOOKUP on any of the Excel versions. So reach out to us at the earliest to get this installed in your system. Hello everyone. Let's start by understanding the VLOOKUP formula. Here is a small data set in front of you. But before coming to that, let's first understand the syntax of the VLOOKUP formula. As soon as I type equal to VLOOKUP, there are a number of parameters which are asked by this formula. We are going to understand all these parameters in extreme detail. Okay. So here is the syntax. Now, what all does this mean? Right? What do these parameters mean to us? The first one, as you see, is the lookup value. What is the lookup value? Very simply, the value which you want to search, right? Or whatever field you want to search is the lookup value. The value that you want to search, okay? Then is table underscore array. What is this? Table or array is the lookup table, right? Where exactly do you want to search that item? So lookup value is what is the value that you want to search and table array is where exactly do you want to search? All right, then we have column index number, right? What does this mean? This is the output logic or output parameter for VLOOKUP. This means what is the value or which column has the value which you want VLOOKUP to return to you, right? Which you want VLOOKUP to give as an output to you. All right. So I'll say output value column reference. Right. We'll see how this is input and what all parameters can go into it. And finally, we have the range lookup. Range lookup is nothing but what type of lookup you want to apply. Whether is it an exact match or an approximate match. Okay, we're going to learn the exact match first because that's the easiest and we'll go on advancing this we look up as and as we progress in the course. Right, so we have understood the syntax. I'm going to take you through the examples of all of them with the help of this data. Friends, to apply we look up, there are two prerequisites. The first one being the unique field or as we call it, the table underscore array should begin. Right? should begin with the field where you are searching for the item. What does that mean? This is a tantrum of VLOOKUP, right? As we call the tantrum of VLOOKUP. It always searches towards its right. Okay. So that means that whatever value you're searching for in our case, it's this value, right? This column code. That is the unique column, right? So that has to be towards the leftmost column of the data set, right? Because every search that will be performed by VLOOKUP will be towards the right side of it. It cannot return, if I input AK47, it cannot return the name Akash. It can only return room or rent. 
that's the example of it the second prerequisite is that the table array or where exactly you are looking for the information should be unique the reason we are saying this is this is for an exact match because if the value is not unique the data should will not be correct if there is an AK47 repeating here with say 601 the room which AK47 will look for might be 201 might be 601 and the data will not be correct so your lookup value or the table array should always be unique that's the prerequisite of it of course there are some advanced versions to it which we'll come to later as of now these are the two prerequisites which you need to remember first one being the unique field of the table array should begin with field where you're searching the item and the table or array should be unique bam we are ready to apply we look up now are you guys ready we're gonna learn how to apply this formula on this data set in the next video thanks for watching this video stay connected remain exclusive remain distinguished thanks guys